It's only for the real. What's going on, real estate Trey? And it's Tasha. Man, to the real world, we keep it real. The Flash, season five, episode twenty-one. The girl with the red lightning. Well, mm. we've come down to these last two episodes of The Flash. So now I gotta have my one of my shirts on. You know. Y'all excuse the noise in the background because it's like really storming outside in case y'all can hear that. Um, then you can do. Yeah. Um, don't forget to check out the links in the description. You know, we got merch, got a new gaming channel, all that good stuff. Um, for those of y'all watching this video, since a lot of y'all watch The Flash versus other stuff, we will be at Comic Palooza this weekend on the 11th. So if you guys like want to follow us on Instagram or Twitter so y'all can get the live updates on where we are in case you know y'all want to drop by, we can all... Hey, how you doing? You know, whatever, whatever. Then, hey. Do you like comic books? I like comic books. Guess what we giving away? DC Universe Rebirth, The Flash. Yes, number one. Um, it's one, baby. All you have to do to, you know, for a chance to win, make sure you subscribe, like the video, mm -hmm. comment your favorite DC character mm -hmm. or show. Make sure you're looking for a response, you know, on your comment if you win so that I can get your information and you can get those soon. So, two winners, one per winner. Not two for one person, but two winners. So, who they right there? We also had the same giveaway on our Arrow and our Legends video if y'all want to check them out. Legends probably not up yet, but it's coming, so. Is that Gospel? Is that August? Can we get into the video? Because I was anxious for them to just drop me to the floor tonight. I'm ready. See, that that kind of attitude right there is when you don't get floored. It don't take much for me to get floored, though. Like, I'm not I'm not picky like some people, so. Oh, that's cute. Good old-fashioned berry kicking ass, scolding his daughter, you know, somebody get by. I ain't no scolding no more. Like, if it's scolding in two episodes, goddamn, like, look, you ain't learned nothing he in this fashion. He can like, why did you run out there and get shot? <laughs> You gotta make that face, but then you be talking about mine. Oh, bitch. Four, three. Oh! Oh! Oh, they supposed to come and get him out of there when the time will go down? Now, they gotta take him out of there. I don't know. What they gotta do? Well, he got to go to, like, the chair or some shit like that. He is going to vibrate our head right in this He, he good in there. Bye-bye, mm. Mr. White Beard. She said, okay, so what's the coming? Is that what they do to end their life? He already died. Like, what's the purpose? The same thing that gives you your problem is going to end you. It's just... Bitch, that look like the Hannibal Lecter chair. They playing. Did that thing have an end at the bottom of the dagger just then? Here's what we know about the cryo colonizer. Tannhauser originally developed it to combat land fires caused by drought. So the cryo colonizer can disperse cold air particles into the atmosphere that triggers rainfall. However, if cicada can replace the cold particles with the what? It does matter. Ooh. Shit, she popped up right there so at the worst time.
Damn, she went to the university for him. Boy, yeah. kid, the children's trying to get high and learning. Why does this look familiar? This place? Probably weather witch or something. They look like the stairs when they was going out there. Oh, so I forgot she could see her shit. She can see her. Yep. Yeah. I see it. But. Oh, shit! Damn! She out of that thing! That shit probably a part of her now. Hold on, that's that white lightning. Hold on, please. Boy, God speed. <laughs> so I gonna speed you, all right? Keep playing. <laughs> that's for you. I know I play around. We're about to get slammed in here. Whoa. Oh, all these people just willingly ready to give up their powers though? That's Maybe crazy. everybody needs more powers. You gotta well, I know, I know that. None of them have a hyperconduit compatible with the converter cicada stole. You know, now that I've actually experienced this whole time travel thing, I think I understand it a little bit better. Which makes me understand Thon's plan less and less. Why would he send Nora back to create a new cicada only for a newer cicada to appear who's harder to stop than the one Nora created? I think I got something. You what? what? Oh! A whole bomb. Bitch! I'm sitting up here like Rocky ain't grabbing whatever. Like. She's already got the conduit. The ship will have on this warehouse. Grace has everything she needs. Son of a bitch! They tripping, tripping already. I love it though. Thank y'all. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're dumb, yo. Hey, it don't feel like it's been on. As long as it's been on. Just give me a second, all right? Yeah, all right, yeah, please. yeah. All right. So, this is the original timeline with the original cicada, David Hirsch. This is the night of the Enlightenment when Nora interfered with the satellite, giving us our cicada, Orland Dwyer. That's also the same night that Grace goes into a coma. This is where it gets complicated. At some point in the future, Grace wakes up. She becomes her own full-fledged cicada. She goes back in time. She kills her uncle with his own dagger. What happens to all the metas that Dwyer killed? Do they get unkilled? What about all the metas that Grace killed in the future? What did she kill them with? And most importantly, Man. what happens in the timeline where Grace never killed Dwyer? I'm standing here. Something wrong with your eyes? They're fine. Get out of my way. All right. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Wants to attack him? Just give me the cure and I'll get out of here. No way. I was here first. You know that. Sir, what should we do? Detective, we got one squad. Oh, Joe. He's got it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go off. I need a minute to think. What the fuck? She tapping into that girl so all that anger is gonna come through. Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. She should have did that. That girl hella angry. Like you don't need to mess with that. Alright, she can't hear you. Not that she can see us either. <laughs> She got a whole nose bleed. What the fuck? That's anger for real, bro. Yeah, think that girl really angry. Like, think about how angry her uncle was, and she like worse. <laughs> like, well, you don't need to be well, product. Of, she's a product of her environment. Well, like, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying she's worse off than he was because she'll kill anybody that get in her way. Not just like Meta, she kill anybody. 
So that's I'm like, her anger is really terrible. You don't need to be doing all that. Sure. That's sad when you can't even get excited for folks to find the happiness because you know they're gonna shoot it to okay, shit. <coughs> so when she opened the port, he gets stabbed in the back with the dagger. I need Ralph to go back to the board and I need Sherlock to go help him. She just, like, you do you know how hard that is to just pick up your life and just bounce like that? Going to a whole nother earth? Oh, they put that in the thing. See, what, you episode 20? Yeah, that's a throwback. They showed it the other episode when they were trying to figure out, like, when she was evil, could it hold her? That shit is so Oops, she got I can see the completed atomizer. And I can't see where she's taking it. Remember, Nora, that's not your anger. It's hers. That's CCPD. Uh, um, I see what you're doing. The world I wake up in is overrun with people with impossible powers. Destroying innocent lives. Ripping families apart. Just like mine was. And all of this is because of you. I mean, it's kind of obvious when they showed this shit on the news, though, that that's where she was going to go. Yeah. Oh, she taking all that shit. Does that shit make her stronger? All of them in one place. Oh. And now their end begins. Yo, um, this, uh, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like really? The chick crazy. She extra crazy, bro. My whole thing is if you I guess it don't affect her because she got the shard in her head. It just affect like regular metals because I'm like, you there too. Like Blast that dagger to hell. It ain't going to hell. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it's going, I don't know but where it definitely ain't going to hell. Get out of my precinct. Hey, Cricket Freak. You and I have some unfinished business. There we go. Oh, got it, Nikki. What did you just figure out? That's why I was like, when she came on the scene, she ain't had that bitch, she still could do that shit. Damn! Oh, did, did you oh. show you that shit like a fucking... Bro, I ain't got time. You wanna kill me? Like, uh-uh, I ain't going. Yes. Get around. Get up. Turn your other hand to one too. Oh, 
Not Barry, bitch. She used him to throw me. He gonna stay. Is she finna kill him? Cisco, what's going on? It's too late. Gotcha. Ooh, bitch! I thought she was finna get him. It's gonna go to him while he getting out! Yo. Oh! Son of a bitch. The dagger is Thorn's plan. No, say nothing! Oh my god! Hey, and that's how it went off? Fucking Thorn, yo. So his plans always have plans, no matter what. He set it up so that he knew who Nora was. Well, Trey, how did he know who Nora was? Season five, episode eight. He knew who she was. So when he saw her, for her, that was the first time she saw him in the future. But for him, that was the second time. So he played the fool. Okay, you have to do this, 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 this. And these will be the effects. These are the effects. I can get out of here. This dagger is where it needs to be. So even though they're showing us the shit at the same time, basically the events that just happened had to happen. Like, it's happening. Like, he got it. Even um, though we saw it before they actually did it because it's in the future. So they're like... Yeah. Made it be there. How, like, how he even in there with that shit on like that, though? Like, how that even work? Um, like, how y'all put him in jail with some shit on underneath that damn vest? Like, we knew she didn't have the dagger in the future. Right, and we knew that he wanted it, but, like, I didn't think them using that thing would make them get it. That's why I was like, I don't think that destroys the dagger. Like, where does it go? It has to, to certain, go somewhere. To a certain space time. Was another 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 spot on Earth, something. But Thawne knew that. Thawne knew that, and with him knowing that, he knew. Well, they did this, and the dagger went he went here. So if I'm here, put it, put the dagger right here. When they take this shit off me, I can wait 15 years. He's waited 15 years before that magic number. 15 years. He's waited 50, he waited 15 years to get back to the future for Barry. He waited another 15. This man waited 30 years for plans. Unfucking believable. So now he but his arms are like trapped in that thing. I guess he just would. I'm tired. Like. And like that's why he looked at Ralph stupid the other episode. Like episode 19. He was looking at Ralph like. You were dead in the original time. Well, you know what I'm saying? The timeline that I was there, maybe after Flashpoint, you did come back. Huh. Right, he the one that figured the shit out. Yeah. So, yeah. It's too late now, though. If they zap that shit, it's too late. And, like, this is the thing I hate about the Flash. Like, I love the Flash, but I have to call out shit that Barry's a speedster. Mm -hmm. He should have been able to see that Ralph was saying something. He should have slowed down time around him. He like, should have been out. able to have been quick enough to go get the damn thing before it even went off or something. Like, before the gun hit it or something. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, it's certain stuff like that that makes The Flash hard as a TV show. And, like, I have to even, I even have to point that out as a Flash fan. Like, sometimes it sucks when you bring, like, stuff like that because it's like, ugh. Yeah. But, but it was a good episode. Yeah. Huh? It was. I wasn't thinking it was going to be as good as it was. So I was wrong. And I admit that. But it was It was very good. But next episode. Next episode. Hey. All I'm going to say is. If she cater. Body Nora. Before Thun come back on some bullshit. He good and dead. If he fuck with Barry after they done lost Nora. You might want to come on the early part of the episode, my dude. <laughs> like they showing um her like she about to kill Nora, and then you gonna come try to fuck with him after that. 
This man's about to turn into Man, now the oh, question man. is Is Thug gonna run back? Of course he is. You know he is. You know what year you gonna run What back he to. gonna do to with the dagger though? That's my whole thing. So he gotta be villain for six season six if he got the dagger. Not necessarily. I don't know. I mean he could he very well may be. He might come back. They might do Thawne in season six. I mean, I don't care either way. You know, like, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, I mean, I'm... I'm I would like this. them to do Max sometimes, though. Yeah, I, I really... Like, that. take some of that stress off of uh, Tom and bring Matt. Matt. Matt is willing to come back. If they bring Tom back, I don't think they're going to have... Like, if he a full villain for next season, then I don't think they're going to have an extra person like... like Sherlock. Yeah, I don't Sherlock. think they're going to have somebody like yeah. that. Like, you're not going to get a Sherlock or a Harry. You know what I'm saying? And. It sounded like he stopped storming. Yeah, it did. It was great. Like. Oh. Like, I like how Ralph was figuring the stuff out. Like, and he was right. You had the timeline. Then you had the Cicada timeline. Then you had the. So it's other timelines. Like. Yeah, it's always another timeline upon timeline upon timeline when somebody does something and messes with the timeline. I'm like, and I'm glad Ralph is figuring this stuff out. Like, nobody's explaining this shit to him. That's how good of a detective he is. He's figuring this shit out on his own. So that's how you know Sherlock is probably gonna die because Ralph is really figuring stuff out like yeah he they don't I mean, you don't need two detectives like well three detectives actually yeah so what they going to do with Cisco character though if he really leaving cuz like I would have thought this would have been the moment to like take him out but yeah. like cuz if they take him off like he he got to leave cuz if they kill him and nor die or disappear in the same episode that's kind of like a lot but if y'all going for that I mean I'm mm-hmm. here for it I guess I'm saying it, and then I'll probably be sobbing next episode. But. Man, I thought she was going to cut his head. Clean. Right, that's all. Oh. Like, she about to behead this man in the police station. I was like, y'all have lost y'all. I was like, y'all are pushing limits. It's se- at 7 o'clock. That's what I was like, how I do error at 7 o'clock. <laughs> that's what we do. I'm like, fuck the 7 o'clock. I'm like, dad, Cisco, you just don't cut off. You don't, my Sunday, Cisco. I am sorry. Them spoilers. <laughs> how the fuck is that a spoiler? If somebody still ain't seen the episode. Man, you better get your ass out of here that bullshit, man. Look, let me explain. Be late you. watching The Flash and somebody spoil you. You're going to be ready to buy First of somebody. all, first of all, I'm never late watching The Flash. The latest that, I, but you don't know on. what can happen. Hold up. Let me explain something. The latest I am watching The Flash is 720. So I can skip through the commercials exactly to be at the point of 8 o'clock. I don't, I don't get online. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's Tuesday. This ain't like Endgame. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Watch your goddamn shows. Mm-hmm. But anyway, next episode is going to be a good episode. Finale of Arrow, finale of Flash. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. Because I'm interested to see how they end both. Because a lot of stuff going on on both shows. So, right. guess we're going to have to say farewell to no one. Yeah, man. Like, are we... Are they going to give it an or? Right. Or is she just going to look like one of the twins <laughs> if they bring the twins later? Yeah. And if, let's say this. Let's say, since Thawne has the dagger, are they going to do the comic book aggregate thing? And are we going to get the twins, the negative twins now? Like, mm. because the future's changed. And if he comes back, maybe he'll change something else. And they'll be. I liked her acting more this episode. Not nothing. Not saying nothing wrong with her acting, but like the way they wrote her being like a little more mature and taking responsibility. Like this episode, they should have done it a lot more during the season. Cause I'm yeah. like, she done fucked over shit the whole season, and then the one episode before she possibly died. <laughs> like y'all want to. I feel like I, I. This is what I feel like, and this is because of the time travel thing. Nora will die, but Don Allen will be born. Like and she I will mean, come back as Don Allen and Donnie, her brother. I'm gonna call him Donnie to un- differentiate the two. He'll um, come back with her, and like next season you'll have him and her 
fucking bury up. Because that's, I mean, I know people talk about, oh, we go get Red Death. Well, we might get Godspeed next season too because they 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 made the Godspeed costume. I was like, y'all, y'all gotta understand, like, y'all gotta think about that. They made a costume. That costume costs money. They gotta get their money's worth with that costume. Like, that's for real. Like, you can't just. I like how they lay around, figure everything out, though, because Sherlock was preoccupied. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like him letting that lady leave and something, he gonna catch up with her later. I don't know. I'd be surprised if they let him just leave and go back peacefully like that, but who knows? It's only one week left, y'all. One episode left, and season five is over. How, how are y'all feeling about the episode? I guess we'll talk about that next week. What All in all, what do you rate season five? You know what I'm saying? What do you rate all the seasons in order from best to worst? Well, I pretty much know my standing on the situation. But I like the season. I mean, it's one that it wasn't like super bad or nothing like that. It just it had some some parts that could have been better, you know, here and there. Certain stuff could have been a little more consistent. Like I said, like with her, it's like this episode you want to solidify that you've grown and when you've been grown the whole time that you've been here. <laughs> so that's why I was just like, and like that. That's the crazy thing. Yes, she has been grown. But in a sense, she hasn't been a speedster that long. Yes, I excuse me, I know she spent a a year here with us, but in her time, it's been an hour. You know, like and that's crazy. Like when she goes back home, she's she's been here a whole year. She spent a whole year. You know what I'm saying? Well, I well you can't say two years because she popped in and out. But I'm like, let's just say a whole year. She's been here a whole year, yeah. and when she go back, it's just it's like an hour has passed. Left off. Yeah, she's just picking up. Like and her friend like had just died hour. like a few days ago. Like in her time, so I'm like, yeah. you know, things are. You can't really be mad at the irresponsible choices she made by her time standards. Like it took Barry time, and Barry still fuck up shit. Like. And even doing it, what, five years? I'm just saying, man. Like, you got to cut some people some slack. Like, people, like you got to look at it like that with uh, Nora because it's it's so different. Yeah. But it was a good episode, though. I'm interested to see how they going, you know, end the shows. I'm not disappointed. Yeah. I still got to catch up on Supergirl. We are caught up on Legends, so they'll be posted this week because that has an extra week, I think. It has two more episodes. So. Yeah. But full reactions on Patreon, guys. Yes. Don't forget, if you want a chance to win one of these Flash comics, make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video and comment your favorite DC character or your favorite DC show. And that's it. Y'all stay up. Stay real. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. As soon as I said it was through storm. Man, it's to the real. Y'all be sure to stay real. Oh, and I'm going to figure out the timeline stuff, too. By Friday, don't worry, real talk. I got y'all. I'm gonna make sure I know that timeline stuff down to the T. But like I like I said, 15 years twice. This boy waited 15 years twice to do plans. It don't get more sinister than that. Y'all I just want to see what he gonna do next episode. I'm just saying, this man right here is a monster when it comes to patience. Patience. It's a virtue with my man. It's like, y'all just not playing with it. So I wonder how he got the dagger in the future, though. Never mind. That's probably going to come into that mirror gun shit. And I'm like, it's a mirror gun. They don't even sound like it destroyed anything. Wait a minute. Mirror, like, reverse? Like, reflection? Like, I wonder. I don't know. We finna go. Y'all stay real, man. You know already what, so you might as well subscribe, please.